Hello there guys and welcome back to another Epic NX Real Maths video. In this video we're going to be differentiating cosec x. So let's get straight into it. y is equal to cosec x. We want to find dy dx. That's the idea of this question. We don't know how to differentiate cosec x yet so we can't just do it. We don't know what it is. We're pretending that we don't know what it is. So we're going to, we need to put it in a form that we do know how to differentiate. So I'm going to write this if y is cosec x, then y is also equal to 1 over sine x because cosec is 1 over sine by definition. This means that I can write y to be sine x to the power of minus 1 like this. It's not inverse sine, it's sine x literally to the power of minus 1. I can then use the chain rule and say let u equal sine x. You might be able to do this in your head, but I'm going to do it like this. If u is sine x, that means that first of all, du dx is going to be cos x because sine differentiates to cos. Also though, it means that y is equal to u to the minus 1 because u is sine x so and y is sine x to the minus 1. So of course, y is u to the minus 1. We also know how to differentiate this. dy du using the power rule is minus 1 times u to the minus 2. To get dy dx, you just multiply these together because dy du times du dx, the du's cancel out, you just get dy dx. You end up with essentially getting cos x multiplied by minus u to the minus 2. And if we turn u back into its definition, we said u was sine x, remember, this means that dy dx is cos x multiplied by negative 1 over sine squared x because u to the minus 2 is the same thing as 1 over sine x and then squared so sine squared x that's the same thing okay and then finally we can do a little bit of rearranging this gives us minus cos x divided by sine squared x which means that dy dx well we can split this up into now cos over sine times 1 over sine. So this is minus cos x over sine x multiplied by 1 over sine x. We can see clearly that, you know, if you were to sort of put this back, then you would indeed get cos over sine squared or, or minus cos over sine squared. So this is still completely legit. But what it lets us do is we say, well, cos x over sine x, what is that? It's, it's cot. So we have minus cot x multiplied by 1 over sine x, which is cosec x. And typically, you write these terms the other way around, but it doesn't actually matter. I will write it as minus cosec times cot, but it does not matter which way around you write it. And this is the answer. The derivative of cosec x is minus cosec x times cot x. Out of curiosity, if it was not cosec 1x, if it was maybe cosec 2x that you wanted to differentiate, the derivative of cosec of some constant times x like this, using the chain rule again, instead of just letting uh, u equal sine of kx instead of sine of x, you end up with minus k times cosec k x cot x this just comes from the chain rule so if you wanted to differentiate cosec of 2x it would be minus 2 cosec 2x cot 2x for instance but it doesn't matter what k is k can be any value so these are essentially the two sort of things that you need to know for differentiating cosec x thank you guys so much for watching highly appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video